Hello and welcome! My name is Bonnie and today I'm going to be unboxing the June 2021 Loot Crate. The theme for this month is intergalactic. Now I am not going to waste any time, I'm just going to go ahead and cut my way right on in. And the first thing we're going to do is open up the box and see if there's an image on the inside. And there's not, these are just Loot Crate doodles. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. I'm going to set it to my side and I'm going to pull out our first item. The first thing I'm feeling is the shirt, so I will start off with this. And we have got a gray shirt today. I'll go ahead and I'll give you the first peek. And let's see. It's an ET shirt, the Extraterrestrial Tour 1982. Is ET going on tour? E.T. coming to a town near you. Okay, that's funny. I don't know what the tour 1982 is in reference to, but I like the shirt. It's a very classic image of E.T. It's got some nice retro coloring going on. It's a decent shirt, not a soft shirt, but I think the color is all right. I'm okay with getting a gray shirt every now and then. And I like the image on it. So I'm actually very pleased with the shirt. So we're starting off strong. The next item that I've got is a Ren and Stimpy keychain. We have Ren and Stimpy in rubber form. They are attached to one key ring, so they would be together on your keys. Um, I was wondering how they were gonna fit Ren and Stimpy into the intergalactic theme, and they did it by putting them in spacesuits. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy go to space. This is a show that I was not allowed to watch as a kid. There was a list of shows I was not allowed to watch. This is one of them, Cow and Chicken. I'm surprised I was allowed to watch Courage the Cowardly Dog because they all have a very similar art style. Um, and they were all really freaking weird, really weird shows. Um, and as an adult, I, I went back and I watched a couple episodes of Ren and Stimpy. And I agreed with my mother's decision to not let us watch this. I was like, nope, yep. I wouldn't have wanted to watch this as a kid. It was really gross. But um, I'm sure there's a lot of Ren and Stimpy super fans out there and this would probably please them. I think this is kind of a basic item, but it's still fun and it was executed well. So um, a decent item. The next thing I'm feeling is our pin. Oh, it's an Invader Zim pin. I don't think I knew there was gonna be an Invader Zim item this month. I like it, it says 20 years. Wow, we're having a lot of anniversaries with Nickelodeon. We just had a Rugrats anniversary pin in the last box, I believe it was the last box. Um, but this is Invader Zim. It says 20 years there on the pin. Hopefully you can see that it's not too reflective. If I was in the seventh grade right now, all my friends would be so jealous that I have an Invader Zim pin. That was all the rage when I was in middle school. And this is really fun. I like this pin. I think it's really cute. He's got his little tongue sticking out. It's adorable. I like it. And I'm liking that we have some uh, Nickelodeon representation in this box. Very fun. The next thing that I'm feeling is a box, and we have got a Guardians of the Galaxy Rocket Raccoon Collect and Build. So this is number two in the series. In the last month, we got the Star-Lord figure, and you can see, so they color it in when it's, uh, when it's been given out in the loot crate. So we've got Star-Lord, now we have Rocket. I guess it's a spoiler, but we should probably also be getting Gamora and Groot in the next couple if they continue this series. So let's go ahead and pop this open and see how it looks. And here we have it outside of the box. Rocket is having a wild good time. He is unstoppable right now. We'll give you a little 360 of this figure. This, the base is kind of a thin plastic, but he himself is kind of a nice material, maybe vinyl he's made out of. It's nice and thick, a little bit hefty. The paint job looks really nice. I think the detail in his fur looks really nice. Um, it also came with this little separate piece that you can use. There's a little plug at the bottom you can use to plug 
him in and then you there's three more so you can connect the other statues that come in this set so i can connect star lord and him right now i'm not going to but i could if i wanted to um but he looks really good i really like this i think this is one of the better quality lines of figures that they've had come in loot crates for sure i'm actually really down with i with this idea and I think these are more comic book accurate representations of the characters rather than movie accurate, which I also think is really fun. Um, Cause when a movie gets made, it kind of takes over um, the comic book version of characters and stuff. And so it's nice to get some of the original looks. So I really dig this. I think it's a great item and I can't wait for the others to come in. Now we already did the pin, so I believe we are on to the last item. And we have a Voltron eraser set. This is a Voltron eraser set figure. It builds into a figure that is very cool. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave this in the packaging. I try to take everything out of the packaging so I can give you a good look at it. But this one I'm gonna keep in its plastic. So I hope I can give you a nice view of it with very little reflection. But this is really cool. This is awesome. Um, of course, I would never want to use it as an eraser. Then you'd be rubbing its little details away. But it does actually have some very nice detailing in the rubber. That's cool. It has a blurb on the back. I'll put that right there if you want to pause and read it. I'm not going to read that whole thing out loud. It says this is a Loot Crate original and it's got classic media um, licensing on the back as well. This is very cool. I think a lot of Voltron fans are going to be really into this. I think it's a very fun, unique idea. So then we come to my favorite and least favorite item from this month. Now my favorite, it was really close. It was between the t-shirt and the figure and ultimately the figure of Rocket won out. I think this is great quality and it looks like he's having a wild good time. So I really like that. The shirt was so close and the reason why it would have been my favorite, but the reason why it is not is because it is not a soft shirt. I really like soft shirts that feel nice on my skin. This is a, just a touch scratchy, just a little bit rough, but I really like this image. So if it had been a soft shirt, this would have been my pick, but now it's my runner up. But then my least favorite item from this month is going to be the Ren and Stimpy keychain. I just don't have much of a connection with Ren and Stimpy and then it's one of the smaller items. Um, so that is my least favorite from this month. And with that, that is everything I have to show you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me so that I know that you liked it. And if you would like to subscribe and you have not yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.